Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDictic. Today I will show you how to create a simple navigation inside React Native and we will use the Navigator iOS for this. So let's start with a blank project first. As you can see, the documentation for the Navigator is quite heavy and in my eyes you don't need all those render stuff and everything inside. So I will show you a simple demo how to create a simple navigation which means we will have three views, a root view, a child view and one more child. So we can go down three level and all those views will be stacked so we automatically will have a back button at the top like you know from most of the iOS apps. Alright, so it's ready. Let's get in there. And also open the Xcode project. We don't need this. Let's start it. No, not that one. So, once we got everything up and running, hopefully we see our app. But by now we can already create some files inside here. Because as I said we will have some more views. And that's why first of all we will have a root view. So create the root iOS.js and two more child iOS JS and also child to iOS JS. So those are the files we will need in this tutorial. Alright, hopefully this is working right now and it's connected, great. So first of all the index file we already have is the basic one we need and inside this file we will create the container for our navigation so let's remove all of this stuff here we don't need this and also we just need the flexbox styling and we don't need the text and also no view but we need the navigator navigator iOS and inside our render function we will now create the view which is simple navigator iOS and we pass some styling Let's take the container styling and also we have to define our initial root initial root all right, and this one is an object inside here. So our initial view or the root view has the title my root, which is what will be displayed in the title bar and also a component. And this is what will get rendered inside the view. So we pass the root nav. We obviously don't have it by now. So close this one and close everything else. Perfect. If we save it and refresh, we obviously don't have a root nav right now. And we also, what? 18? Uh, is there a problem? What? Oh, okay, now it's okay. So. I hope this should work, yes. Okay, so currently a root nav is missing. So go to the top of your file and let's require it. And this will be our root.ios. All right, I fucked this one up. Yes, I love that. Okay, so now we got it, but we obviously don't really got it. Oh, and my application crashed, that's new, but no problem. 
So we obviously need our root view so let's copy this and paste it here. We don't need everything inside but some parts. Alright, let's comment this out for now. At this moment in the root file we don't need the app registry that's only for our index file. So here we will create our basic view or the first one we will see so we need the style sheet we need a view we maybe need a touchable highlight and we also need some text maybe and this will be our root nav as I said and also make sure to call module exports so our root nav will be available for others Okay, so inside our class we don't need the navigator again, obviously. We just need a simple view, some styling. Again, we need the container. And inside our view we will have a little touchable highlight view, which means a button. So inside the touchable highlight, as I said, some styling again. We will create this style in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. And we also have to define the on press event for our button. So on press, we want to call this dot. Let's go derper. And obviously. We need to implement this, but not now. All right, that's it. And afterwards, we also specify the underlay color, which is the color you see when you press the button. So this just looks nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. And also, the button needs some text, say styles button styles dot button text and inside we must go derpa. Alright, that's everything for our button. We need to close our touchable highlight and the view is closed. Finally we need some more styling so let's take a look. We need a bit more for our container so to make everything look smooth and we specify row layout flex. We want to align our items in the center. We want some background color to see if our view is active or not. Alright, I had some cool color, 5-1-5-1-4. Alright, and also some padding so it doesn't look like shit. Alright, we also had the button and we had the button text. So the button text is quite easy, a bit of font size bit of color and also some margin so the text is centered. I'm not sure why this is not working yes automatically but we're in a very early stage of React Native so hopefully we will see this in a later version. Again we want the flex direction row So you can find all this code on my blog um, in case you're a bit lazy or you don't want this styling just leave it out but I'm not sure how you you will look like maybe something is missing or hidden so make sure to copy the styling if possible either by typing now or by getting it from my blog. Alright, finally we got everything inside. 
and I think we need to recompile let's run it again all right some minor error okay yes and finally we got it so what we've got until here we got our navigator iOS which is the container around everything and we got our initial root and this root is our root nav which is this view with the touchable highlight the button the background you see it it goes below this bar the my root comes from our title so everything's working until here but we don't have any navigation by now so let's change this and therefore let's implement the goderpa function and this is pretty straightforward we just have to call this dot props dot navigator dot push nav oh sorry navigator dot push and we need to push a new yeah a new title child title and again we have to push a component or specify it and this will be a child we will require this soon and also I want to show you how you can pass some properties because you will need this yeah a lot of the time so just pass props and make an object this could be your value all right I hope that's clear so this will push a new state and as I said we need to require this child and this will be our child dot iOS dot yes so by now our app isn't running because we need to implement our child but this is no problem right now and so our child again style sheet view touchable highlight we will require the second child very soon we need to call it let's say child enough make sure to export it and we don't want to implement this by now and our view is a container and inside the container let's define a text style styles dot text and here we can say my value and just say this dot props dot my element and this will give out the text we have passed in our root state so let's keep the touchable highlight and yes just so we can see we want to go even derper and let's change a bit of the styling so let's take a different color let's say this and we also have to add the styling for our button so this is uh, not for the button I'm sorry obviously for the value we want to show which we've passed from our previous state so this will be a bit bigger than our button and the color of the text again will be simply white alright I think the rest is fine for now we can keep it and let's take a look maybe this is already working by now so okay so right now we are inside the navigator and inside our root view we press go derpa and we should hopefully see our new state yes so the child title is the title we passed the component we see is the one we passed and also we had this optional element which is my element and the text this could be your value 
and that's exactly what we've displayed inside our view. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, so there's only one thing missing now and that's the last view. So again we want to go derper and this is even lower than before and right now this will be the lowest child for our tutorial and we don't need the optional value. Alright, so let's require our lowest child which will be child2.ios and let's take this to our child2 and let's see what we need to change for this one. So this is the child2 nav, make sure to export it and at this point we don't want to go derper anymore so let's remove this one and also our view will look a bit different we let's say yeah we can keep a simple text so this is obviously the derpest child so we got one touchable highlight and on press we want to say pop all which will bring us back to our initial root view so this will pop the complete stack of views as you can see we will be one deeper and we will come back to the blue initial one without a back arrow so just back to the root and yes let's say pop to root and we also want a second touchable highlight and this will call pop once so this will do exactly what this arrow up here does but I want to show you this function because sometimes or many times you want to go maybe go back by yes by doing something and calling it and not using the default the default arrows or buttons so this will be pop once all right so we got our styling our touchable highlights and the container can stay the same the button can stay the same maybe we should give a bit more space to the buttons and a bit less space to the text but everything else should be exactly how we want it so let's implement those functions this is real quick again this dot props dot navigator and just say pop for popping at once that's everything cool right and obviously this is just as easy as pop to top and yeah well let's see if this is working so this was already working before so we got one deeper oh we could add some yeah the button obviously needs some margin because this does not look cool sorry I must do this alright so we are the derpest child we can go back to our previous state and back to the first one but we can also use our pop ones which will bring us back just one Oh, we obviously should have taken another color to make it even more clear right now yes so pop ones we go back to our middle state just like we would go with the button and pop to root brings us back to the blue state without any buttons up there and now one more thing you could also use slide from the side to go back this is so cool I love it and we have done nothing to get this we just get it look at the title bar how it's changing it's just the effect we want to have and this feels real really really native well it, it's native so I hope you enjoyed this video you learned how to create a simple navigation with a navigation bar and some routes and I hope to subscribe my channel if you like this and see you next time.